Hey, what's up guys? Sean back with another video and we have Pauline's journey today. I did a shorter video on her before, but I kind of was interested to see how the whole episode went. Just because the part I saw was pretty entertaining and pretty interesting to see somebody that got to the extent she did where I also was, but she really didn't want to make much of a change. So I kind of got to see from the start. But first, huge shout out to Ewin Racing for sending me this chair. I mean, kind of coming full circle here from 605 pounds and breaking chairs to somebody sending me one. And I actually really love this chair. It's comfortable. It's got a nice pillow in the back. It's got a nice little back support because you don't get to the size I got without having some kind of back issues generally. My name's Shauna Steel. It's got a steel bottom. It's not made of plastic. I'm pretty convinced that if I wanted to, I could put back on 300 pounds and still sit in this puppy and it would be good to go. But I actually love it. It's comfortable. It makes me want to sit here and make longer videos for you guys. It comes in a box, assembled, or not assembled. You have to assemble it yourself, but it's pretty easy. It's like 10 steps. Maybe take you 20, 30 minutes if you're a little slow at it, but it's super comfortable. I like it. I love it, actually. I'm super happy that they sent me this, and now I don't have to sit in that friggin' $10 Goodwill chair. And uh, if you guys want one, I'll put the link in the description of their website. They didn't give me a promo code or anything, but this is probably one of the most comfortable computer gaming chairs I've ever had, and I'm super ecstatic to have it. So let's go ahead and uh, check out Pauline's journey real quick, see how she started out. You said I've lost 30 pounds since last time I saw you. This is bull <laughs> Ooh, Fast and Furious. She had a motor. It's hard when you see how you're hurting people you love. That's how our water looks in Maryland. Poop soup water. You go to Ocean City, it looks like that. It's disgusting. But you can't stop making the choices that hurt them. Okay. I'm surprised she made it to 50 at that size. That's a lot. I am absolutely trapped in this body. I've let myself get way out of control. This isn't the same chick I was thinking of, but good lord. It looks like a swamp puppy. That's what I call alligators, swamp puppies. But thick thighs save lives, but I don't think those are getting her anywhere. And I feel like I'm dying every day. I can't even move without help. I can feed myself and I can wipe myself, but anything else after that, I need help. My niece comes over a couple times a week and helps me in the bathroom. She don't take her undies off? Man, that's gotta be convenient for you ladies. Just slide them suckers to the side and you're good to go. Don't work like that. Oh, I guess we could if we really friggin' wanted to. It's very limited on what she can do. So I come here to help her. I normally will come in and wash her hair and give her a bed bath what I wish for every day is that I could just get up, hop in the shower, get dressed, and walk out the front door. But, oh, I guess she couldn't fit in the shower, but they're gonna go ahead and give her a hooker bath. She'll be good to go. She'll smell like a half-dead person at that point. You can't smell good unless you truly rinse off, but I guess I, she was sitting in a chair. Couldn't, I don't know, maybe she couldn't wedge through the shower door. That's kind of sad. I just wonder if I'll ever have a normal life. Dylan, can you bring me a towel? Dylan is her only child. He's always taken care of Polly since I can remember. Aww. Having my son take care of me is one of the worst things ever. Dylan is 21. Yeah, I couldn't imagine being that close to my mother's hoo-ha. I ain't trying to go there. That is the danger zone. This kid probably just wants to play friggin' RuneScape and be left alone. That's a vibe I'm getting. And his full-time job is taking care of How me. How is she doing a split? He has to help me put my pants on my legs. 
because I can't bend over to do it. My legs are too big. I do feel bad. Damn, baby got back and front. That's crazy. I wish I was cheeked up like these people, man. I got the flattest butt on earth. Why not? Nah, I'm not going to stand up and show you guys, but it ain't that bad, but it's something. For Dylan, just because it seems like he hasn't had much of a life, even with me, he's very closed off and doesn't really speak his mind very much. It's not a healthy relationship because it's not a mother-son relationship. It's more like a She has some pretty eyes, man. Mine are green, but I wish I had blue eyes like that. Probably can't see them. Client and a caregiver. Hey, Dill. Go grab some breakfast with me. I totally feel like he's the parent and I'm the kid. Oh my god. Start off the day right with some freaking Ronald McDonald. Like you're already almost 700 pounds. Why? Some turkey bacon, maybe? Lay off the, like, Mc, whatever, egg McMuffins. I used to love those damn things. I How many hash mom, browns? But since she's this heavy, whatever I'm doing, I have to stop and just take care of her and help her. Oh, she's keto. All Look he's at that. ever known is a mother that weighed at least 500 and then 600. And then 700. Oh my god, how how does she get the cup? She has like a cup holder next to her hoo-ha. That's a hell of a grip she's got going on down there. I really do feel like I'm a burden. I just do wish that she could walk longer and stand up longer so I wouldn't have to help her with everything. There is not one good thing about being fat. The only good thing that I get out of it is when I'm eating. The biggest highlight of my day is eating. And that's like momentary satisfaction for more pain later on, but also that TV's dusty as hell. You ain't teach your son how to dust? Come on, lady. It looks like somebody drew a wiener on the side of that thing. How is that powerful enough to keep me this way for years and years? I have struggled with my weight since starting at about age six. My mom and dad, they got a divorce. My mom was a homemaker, so when they split up, she had to go live on her own and there was no welfare or anything back then, so we starved. My mom was a homemaker. My parents divorced when I was like, what, 20, 21? They were together like 35 years. It's still weird. I think they might get back together because they just kind of always talk. I don't know. We went hungry a lot. The feelings that came with being hungry was a helpless feeling, like there's nowhere you can get food. Like you could search every cupboard and they were all empty. Because of that, as an adult, I still want to eat. What is that? When my parents died. Do you guys cook meat bricks like that? Damn, she, oh, we've seen the belly table. We've never seen the thigh table move. Damn, that's crazy. You can balance peas on your thigh. This woman's like a damn circus act. She's doing splits, balancing things, holding orange juice with her coochie. This is crazy. Got back together and food was plentiful again. That's the point where I started overdoing it and sneaking into the kitchen to get food at night. And I was getting chubby around age eight, and it just kind of progressed a little bit more each year. That's a big family, too. When I was 17 and I was a senior in high school, I weighed almost 300 pounds. Lightweight. And when I was 29 and I gave birth to Dylan, I was 400 pounds. And then by the time he was two years old, I was 500. Okay, so it's born from trauma, but she's putting on the weight really quick after the baby. I know you're going to put on some weight with the child, but it seems like she just didn't have food, and now she just overeats. My mom explains it, that she overfed us because she didn't have food, and she felt like she was giving us everything because she grew up with, like, two alcoholic parents. So that's where she kind of stems my obesity from, but... Now my weight is just out of control. I know that I'm over 600 pounds, and I still can't stop eating. Pauline, 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 please put down the Krispy Kreme. 
because I have such limited activities in my life, food is one of my activities. So I look forward to it as an event. I thought Buddy's about to lose a few digits right there. She's got a snapper down there, holding orange juice cups and stuff. Woo. We're going to our grocery store because she can't fit in the car that good. It's just easier for her to get in the chair and for me to just go in the car. Are you guys trying to pass her on the street? Because I, I feel like it's pretty dangerous. It's not like a bike. That's a wide wheelchair. You're, you're in oncoming traffic for sure. Eh, I still pass her. She ain't going fast enough. She's moving though, faster than I walk, Dilly. probably. You have tamales today? Yeah. Okay, good. Four pork, please. I enjoy everything about food. Four. See these tongs, honey? What I want you to do is I want you to use the tongs and take the top one off and get me the bottom underneath because it'll be fresher. That's kind of a good hack. I always go for the milk in the back instead of the front because it's always newer. But yeah, she she ain't tripping on that. She's she's right. But she don't need that damn thing. Come on. The smell, the taste, the texture. There is just something about it that excites me. That's what she's All right, doing. let's go get a drinky. But I love food so much that I want to eat it all. Gee. The only thing I'm getting is the joy and satisfaction of the food for those 10 minutes. New nickname, the Tamale Terrorizer. That's who she's going to be the rest of the episode. I'm living to eat instead of eating to live. I want to, I said, I don't know what kind of drinks they have, but I want I am very aware of the damage I am doing to my son through overeating. These last six years have probably been pretty miserable for him. Yeah. I just can't wait for the day that I don't have to help her every day. Please don't let me wreck. Oh, God. You're getting too close to the edge. You think you could have AAA on a wheelchair? Just curious. That might... Why is my brain like this? Oh, okay, now I just had a heart attack. Thank you, honey. I could get on with my own life and live on my own. I feel like I possibly could ruin my son's life. She could. I gotta get this under control. I think that by me getting rescued, um, it's gonna rescue him too. Absolutely, his life's on pause right now. I'm sure he'd rather have a girlfriend and be pulling down her pants than yours. But I don't know, maybe he's got some lady coming over there. Doubt it, but maybe. I've sat here and oh, prayed no. for something to save my life, and I don't know what will. Because I'll probably die in my bed one day. Yeah, but you're saying that while you're drinking a milkshake. She went from the tamale terrorizer to the milkshake masochist. There we go. I love nicknames. And I don't want my son to find me. I feel like I've done enough damage to him that that would be the final straw. Hey, he ain't that far behind you. Would you be able to reach over me and get these boxes or do I have to try to get up? So early on, I guess they didn't make them do anything before they moved. That's just asking for like problems. Cause there's a whole bunch of checklists. Like I guarantee I went to a hundred doctor appointments, but the whole world caught something and I had to go do all these clearances twice. So mine took a little longer, but. There's a doctor in Houston that does weight loss surgery on people my size. He's my last hope. You ready? Yeah. Good job. Oh, good job. But he definitely won't do surgery if he can't do follow-ups. So we are going to go ahead. Bro, I'm trying to figure out how her fupa and her legs looks like the McDonald's arches. Is that just my fat brain going crazy? That I see McDonald's everywhere? What is... I don't know, guys. So I'm nuts. Head and move to Houston. Oh, oh. Will you be able to squeeze me through the van? Let me sit down for a minute for it. Oh, I'm never gonna be able to get in and out of this van. 
Uh, if you're getting stuck like that, you need to call a stepbrother or a stepson, not your real son. I've seen them get people out of way trickier situations before. Thinking about it too much, just do it. I've never done anything like this, but I know I have to. Ouch. It's not uh, funny, but it kind of is. Oh, okay, now the other one. Part of me, like... This is a gamble. Because part of me, like, really sees myself in them. Though I didn't get this bad, like, I was more mobile than that. I absolutely know this is where I was heading. And there's no question in my mind. I wasn't going to probably make it another ten years. So, hopefully she's able to change. Because this ain't the woman I remember. The woman I remember, I thought I was doing a show on, or the episode on today, her show was the one with the old man with the bed that had no sheets. I don't remember her name, so you guys are gonna have to tell me who that is. Because we've never met, and I have no idea if he'll help me or not. But we have to do it if I'm gonna lose the weight. He is my last hope. Is there another Pauline? I'm ready for this trip to be over. Do you want some beef jerky, baby? No. I want to eat some too. Oh, that dog's so freaking cute. What do you mean you want to eat some too? Stop playing yourself like that dog's about to eat that whole thing. Share with the puppers, please. God. There aren't a lot of healthy options on the road and I can't really get in and out of the van, so we have to go with fast food. And now I'm really hungry. Um, I think I want chili cheese fries and a drink. No, you don't. Not if you can't get out of that van, because that's going to get messy real quick. I ain't trying to be locked in that fart chamber with chili cheese lady. I guess a deluxe dog with a pretzel bun, okay? Can I get a deluxe dog? And chili cheese fries. And uh, chili cheese fries. Rookie mistake, buddy. I just want to get to Houston and meet the doctor so I can try to get surgery. Five days? We are finally here. Bro, they had to be sleeping in that van. I mean, she had a mattress. We low-key used to do that when I was a kid. We would put them in, like, the back of the trucks and ride around, do some real backwood stuff. But I guess she just slept in there. I don't know. I had a medical bed delivered and set up, and I just want to get in and lay down. I wouldn't be doing this if there were other options. This is my last option. That's gotta I see so the doctor bad. tomorrow and I am really anxious and excited because he can oh, help me. No. But I don't know what he's gonna tell me. I hope it's not gonna break. Where'd the dog go? Oh my god, he's trapped. Get him out of your crack. Where'd he go? <laughs> Puppy! Oh, Whew, such a relief to be here. And just <laughs> I'm going full force ahead and I will do this. Still don't see a dog. So today, I get to meet Dr. Nail. Hopefully he will find me healthy enough that I could have surgery. Oh boy, it's hot. If this appointment doesn't go well, I don't think there's anyone else out there that can help me. There's absolutely other surgeons. My surgeon's pretty awesome. But you took the first step already. That's the hardest part for most people. Like I say, the journey of a thousand miles starts with one step. So as long as you've got your mind in this, which I've seen you eat tamales, milkshakes, and burgers, so you need to get it going faster, even though I probably was guilty of the same thing. Miss Potter? You can't oh, I'm stop not even me. sure what I weigh right now. Oh gosh. I've leaned on that wall before. I don't know if I've gained or lost over the last year. Isn't that a loss? She lost four pounds. Boy, them chili cheese dogs must have cleared her out. Whew. Oh, God. Oh, God. 
God. I can't believe that I oh weigh almost Oh my God, I thought she had a cake. Oh God. I'm not sure what the doctor's gonna think of my current weight. I just hope you can do my surgery. Hello. Hi. I'm Dr. Nazardan. I'm Pauline. So I see that you're 670 pounds. Tell me about your eating habit. Even when I'm not hungry, I'm still wanting to reach for something. Could be chips or it could be cookies or... Yeah, looking at these shows, I'm like, man, I didn't eat like that, you know? But I'm realizing more and more that I just ate all day, every day. Like, snack here, snack there, this or that. So you can not eat the quantity they eat and still put it on if you're just not eating unhealthy and drinking only sugar, so... Could be ice cream. Even if I'm physically full, I'm still wanting to snack on, you know, something. Cookie, chips, ice cream. The next question is, who buys those? I'll send my son, but I know what you're going to say, and it's really... Bro, don't do that. You know for a fact. Oh, damn. We froze. What happened? I don't know not his fault he's i know he's probably considered an enabler but i abuse my position as his mother and i tell him go get my food okay. and i force so, him to do it you know the she would make his life hell even though like i know i always say just walk away people always want to say like hey sean you know th they'd be a little meaner than that if you didn't give them their cookies and i get that the solution is not to buy it. Right. Okay, so you already know the solution. You already know the answer. You already know the problem, but you have no control over it. Pauline doesn't see her own responsibility in her current situation. So the question is if she even want to change right now. Unless we get handle on the compulsive eating, we're not going to benefit from surgery because weight loss surgery is only gonna limit what you're gonna eat in one setting. This is gonna be better. Yeah, you could absolutely reverse the surgery. The second I started to feel any kind of full game over, stop eating, because I didn't want to put that weight back on, so. Very hard to treat. For your condition, you should go to a zero carb diet. And I want you to lose 50 pounds over the next couple of months. If she hasn't lost any weight when I see her next, we may have to take more drastic steps because she cannot survive much longer like this. How old are you? I'm 50. You Boy, Dr. Now was pretty lenient early on, but he tells him 50 pounds a month now. Forget the next couple months. He's on it now. Think you're gonna make it to 60? That's what I'm worried about. Every day I'm worried that I won't wake up the next day. It's all her choice, and I don't think she gets that. This is totally on your shoulder to break your eating habit. Okay? We discussed it before we came, and he's on board, too. We're both going to do this. All right. Thank you. Sure. Isn't it crazy how everyone can carry their weight so differently? Like, she's all legs. Well, I mean, she's got a fupa, too. But me, I think I carry it primarily in my midsection, like... I mean, I had thick thighs, too. Uh-uh. I was so scared he was gonna send me away, but he didn't. Are you in? No. Good. I'm in. Doctor now is a shining ray of hope for all us super morbidly obese and finny fats. But, I mean, the guy's a friggin' legend in the surgery field for a bariatric patients. He wouldn't turn you away. He's done patients like a thousand pounds. I'm not happy that he didn't say that I'm approved. But I am happy that he's willing to give me a chance. Ouch! No, you, you did not leave that dog in the car in Houston, Texas. That's what I'm mad about. Come on. He's got a foot oh. fetish. I'm going to lose the weight I need to get this surgery. And I may not have a lot of time left. Them pants is a little too tight. I can see her tonsils. It's been a hard month. My days are so boring because I feel like I'm not established here like I was in California. So I am doing nothing all day. 
It's boring as heck. My only physical activity is walking to the bathroom from my bed. I thought she was about to work out. She was doing a little shoulder shimmy, getting her little Uzi Vert on. But this kid looks like he's seen ghosts. Like, this is the sixth sense look. He's, like, staring off in the distance. I've mostly been stuck in this chair. How about some chicken salad? That's a big chair. With ranch and a Coke, please. I've been trying to eat better, but there still is mostly just fast food around, so that makes it tough. Oh, my God. Did they not invent grocery stores in Houston, Texas? Somebody from there friggin' tell me. There's no grocery stores, just McDonald's and Whataburgers. P.S. Whataburger's not that friggin' good. I don't know why people like it. I lived in Jacksonville. It kinda sucks. The honey chicken biscuit's good for breakfast, but it sucks. It's just big. It worries me a little bit that she's just gonna fall back into her old eating habits again. She gets mad when I tell her no, like if she ever does have any cravings or anything. Thank you. But I just hope that she'll know that we've came here for a reason, and if she messes up, then all this will be for nothing. Bro, he's actually skinnier than I thought. He looked bigger before. Maybe he's losing weight. Maybe she's just eating all the fast food, and he's not getting any, and he's dropping weight. But that I wish you got a diet, Coke. At least don't drink your calories if you're gonna mess up. Thanks, honey. I see the doctor next month. I'm gonna try and do what I can to lose the weight I need, but it's hard. Here's the thing about McDonald's salad. It's probably more calories than the Big Mac. It's crazy, but it probably is. We're headed back to the doctor's office to see how I've done in the last couple of months. I've been really anxious to get approved. Push it, baby. Okay. Damn, I've never heard a woman say push it, baby, to their son like that. But she was stuck. That's a little car, man. How? I wonder how those rear shocks are doing. I really feel like I want to pass out already. It's going to be bad having to walk to the scale. I've been trying to do what I need to lose the weight. She's got to have so much swelling. <laughs> Okay. I feel nauseous. Oh shit. She gained four pounds. Should have got more chili cheese dogs, man. That's crazy. Three months down there, your son absolutely is hating it. I can tell by the look in his eyes. And you didn't put in any effort. I don't know, man. Maybe I did the same thing for the first three months. One foot in, one foot out. But at least I was losing weight. But I kind of yo-yo dieted it for a long time, so. Uh, you went up. Okay, well, I need details. I just want to know if I can get down. What's your problem? I can't believe that I gained a couple of pounds. You say something like that to me, I'm going to give your ass a flat tire and make you walk outside. Pounds. I've had a few things not good for your diet, but I certainly don't feel like I've overeaten. All right, how's everything going? Just been feeling kind of nauseous and dizzy and... How is the thing going with your activity? I haven't done a lot of activity in the last week because my stomach hurts. Even if you're just sitting on the chair because you can't move yet, do something. You've seen friggin' Amber Lynn Reed grab some, like, two-pound weights and go to town. Do something. Some sort of effort's required here. I don't think you're getting how serious this situation is. Well, I do have a problem with water retention. It may not have been water weight. Pauline, you gained weight, and you're getting to be 700 pounds. Things need to be changed now. I'm really concerned for Pauline right now. Oh, what I tell y'all about them friggin' Caesar salads? They're not always a better choice. She could have got off better with a large fry and a Big Mac. Well, no, probably not a large fry, but the Big Mac really probably is less calories. For the last couple of months, she should have lost over 50 pounds. She cannot go much longer like this. 
it seems like you are not going to figure this out on your own. So I'm admitting you to the hospital right now. And put you on monitor diet. Okay. She's Okay, so she's in there. She has to lose weight at this point. Unless somebody's got some Snickers in their prison pocket. Dylan, how many Snickers can you fit in that sucker? I don't know. I don't want to know, actually. Why am I thinking that? not going to do anything different unless there is some sort of medical intervention. <laughs> Something drastic has to be done. If she doesn't lose any weight in the hospital, there is nothing more we can do for Polly. I didn't think I'd be going to the hospital today at all. Am I a sicko because I'm watching her get rolled around, like listening to Push It to the Limit by Rick Ross in my head? Something's wrong with me, man. I swear. I'm getting worse. I was not expecting this. I still think I can do it on my own once I get settled into things a little better. It feels weird to voluntarily go there since I don't want to. I think... It's hard to watch her in pain, but it's harder to watch her give no effort. Because you can tell she's just given up. She's like totally just defeated already instead of putting in the effort. She absolutely can change. I gave up on myself a long time ago and then I finally decided like, hey, I need to make a change, so. He may be overreacting a little bit. That car is leaning right a little bit. Eight hundred. Really hungry. That's tough, but I guess. Oh, that looks pretty damn good for eight hundred. At least she's eating all right. I guarantee there ain't no salt on that sucker, man. They kill you with that hospital food. It sucks. I've been in the hospital for a while now, and they've had me on a restricted diet. Oh. Well, that chicken looks good, actually. Sometimes the food isn't that great, but I'm dealing with it. I don't think I really needed to be in the hospital to do this. I know that I can do this on my own and... Okay, so a chicken breast is 220 calories. Those are thighs and a drumstick, the noodles. I'm gonna guess right there alone is 600 if not 700 calories. Over on the other side, all the vegetables and stuff and some pudding. I'm gonna guess that's her... 900 to a thousand right there so five, 800 calories that's bs i don't buy that at all the calorie wizard has not blessed you there are times i feel like i'm being pushed a little too hard oh no she's not gonna good. suck that bone um, big chicken for a while i am just ready to be home How are you? I'm okay. Uh, how's your diet coming along? Good. I'm doing so good. I've been eating only salads and meat and no snacks in between. Like, I'm doing... Oh, man, I really can't wait to see this scale. Because she should be losing a lot of weight in that hospital. If nobody is sneaking in any Snickers or anything like that. Or they don't have some Twix shoved between their ball sack. I... People will sneak stuff in. That's how I used to sneak in my can candy to like the theater next to my balls. Keeps it warm. really good on that. Okay, super. Now we're gonna go ahead and weigh you now. If you lost at least forty pounds, we can go forward with your surgery. Thank you, doctor. All right. We'll see you later. You. Okay. We're gonna put Let's go. Leg like rest on the wheelchair. Okay, Pauline. We're gonna weigh you. I don't know my current weight and I am anxious to see where I'm at. Do you think it'll hold, like I won't break it, right? No. Yeah. Awesome, thank you. I don't know, guys. Do you see 40 pounds gone there? Because I'm starting to think Buddy's got a bigger prison suitcase than I wanted to know about. Maybe he's getting a whole Big Macs in there somehow. I appreciate you being so nice. Okay, we're going press it on. Okay, so minus from 670. Hey! That's, That's good. That's not bad. So 60 would have been better, but I'll be happy with 44. Yeah. Pauline's losing weight because of her controlled diet. 
Now that we have her weight going in the right direction, we're gonna go ahead and do bypass on her. But I mean, that's impressive and I'm super happy for her, but there's no choice really. I guess her son just wouldn't bring it to her or she couldn't talk him into it. Maybe she got her mind in the right place, so she should be good going forward. At least I hope. I have no clue what's about to happen. She still had to make decision to be healthy on her own. If she doesn't, the surgery will be waste. This is her last chance. I hope she takes it. Push it to the limit. All right, Ms. Pauline, are you ready? Yes. Oh, ouch. Okay. You know what sucked about my surgery? Like, they tell you the day before, no ibuprofen, anything like that, because you'll bleed more, and you get that one meal in the middle of the day. I had the worst migraine ever, and I, like, yacked up my one meal, and then I took some Excedrin, even though I'm not supposed to, but I, my head was killing me. I almost called and asked them to cancel. So I didn't eat for probably, like, 48 hours before my surgery. Hello. So you ready for your surgery? I'm scared to death. Can you make sure I wake up? You will wake up. I'm so scared. You had the booklet that I gave you to read and see. I brought it with me, yes. Okay, this is going to be very important because if you don't follow that, you're going to be having serious complication. I'm going to follow everything. OK. OK. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Love you, honey. I wouldn't Look, your life can improve so much with this surgery if you just want it for yourself. Like, I crack a lot of jokes, man, but I'm making fun of my old self, too. Because I know how it feels. I know how much misery she's in. And she's absolutely not defeated. She can fight back, and I'm hoping she does. Doing so. this if there were other options. Dylan is the reason why I'm doing this. I'm so tired of burdening him to help me. What this surgery is going to do for Dylan is maybe give him his own life back. This is my last option. Okay, take a big deep breath. Pauline is having gastric bypass today. I mean, it does feel like your last option. You're kind of on death's door, and you just don't think there's any other way. I've talked to people that have done it without the surgery and everything. Me... I needed the surgery. I don't think there's any right way to lose weight as long as you lose it. And if I needed that tool, whatever. I don't feel like I cheated at all. Well, I do. We but. got her to lose some weight, but she will not continue to be successful without weight loss surgery. If we're making the first incision, these morbidly obese patients, their stomach may be as big as a large watermelon, and we gotta reduce it to the size of a small orange. You know the question I had after surgery? It was, am I gonna set off metal detectors? Because there's absolutely titanium in my stomach that's been healed over at this point. The answer is no, titanium does not set off metal detectors. I looked. Can I down, please? Everything look good? Following the uh, bypass surgery went very well. Alright, everybody ready? Watch your back. Watch your back. Okay, I can't. Did anyone tell my son I'm okay? As soon as she gets stable, we're gonna start to get her up and move around a little bit so she won't get blown. Okay, so you're gonna be in pain. You're gonna feel all the gas pressure in your stomach. You're gonna feel like you need to burp, but you can't. You're going to be sitting there complaining. They're going to be giving you some happy juice. So you're not going to feel that bad. But, like, it, it's not comfortable. So I can understand her reaction here. We are going to watch her to make sure she's doing what she needs to do. I don't feel good, honey. We must get her to keep making progress. <laughs> He's sitting there like, what do you want me to do? Her name's Pot. Oh, Harry Potter. What's she eating? I know for a damn fact you're on a liquid diet for two weeks, so I don't know what she's eating there, but that ain't a good bet. 
Somebody needs to stop her. The peanut piddler over here, huh? Good morning. Good morning. How you doing this morning? Okay, I guess. What do you mean you okay, I guess? Well, I'm still having some pains. I'm not... Well, a pain after surgery is normal, okay? You need to be up and walking. If polyene doesn't move around, then blood clot can form, and that can be fatal. For 30 days, once you get home, you have these injections to inject into your stomach so you don't get a blood clot. I think it's twice a day, if I remember correctly. You need to be up and about, they told me, five or six times a day at least. So I was there for two nights. They only kept me the second night because just precautionary, they said. I was pretty straight after one. She has to get up and move. If you don't walk, you're going to develop blood clot in the leg and we got a problem with it. Well, I pulled a muscle in my stomach. And no excuse. I know, you always think it's an excuse, but if it's hurting me, it's there. But it's hurting you doesn't mean that you should... What the hell's your stomach got to do with your legs, lady? Get to walking. Stay in the bed. I'm only on day five of a really big surgery. Everybody goes home on day two. You're making excuses that are not acceptable. Yep. I want to see walking outside of this room and walk back. Okay. I can't do it that fast. Okay, we gotta be it's slow gonna with you. It's gonna take a while. All right, here comes the tear again. I okay? know because you can't expect it that fast out of me. You're gonna be. I would have got your ass up three days ago. You would have been rolling down that hallway if it was me, and not in a wheelchair either. I would have found a way to roll you so you get moving. Mobile, and you're gonna get up and move. Oh, later, way later. <laughs> Her life and future are in her hand. I'll be back and she can choose to get up and do what she needs to do now, or she can give up and die. I guess when you're that big, what are they going to do if you don't want to walk? They can't bring a backhoe in there and get you out of there. How? Oh, there's wheels on the bed, but I was thinking, how do they get you out of the hospital if you just refuse to move? That's a pretty big weight to move. <sighs> she still hasn't walked? Bro, she looks tinier. <laughs> Does she look tinier or is pink her color? Uh, maybe pink's just her color because it ain't been that many days, right? Pauline is used to be in control of everyone and her situation. Stay close, honey. We are. She's done this piling very well to changes in this dynamic. Oh, you got it. How did her feet get more? Sw I guess she's just laying in bed, so they're going to swell more. You absolutely have to get up and walk, man. And more than that, too, at least down the hall and back. Give it in. Uh, Ellie. Ellie. Oh, thank you. This is not a good situation uh, right now. She need to do uh, much more. Uh, if she won't get up and walk, I will have to take preventive measures. I'm about to pass out. Bruh, day three, I was grocery shopping and getting myself some more sugar-free popsicles. Like, I was out and about, whatever. Like, it doesn't hurt that. At least not me. I don't know. Maybe just because I'm used to, like, being in a lot of pain with my back, ankles, everything. But this ain't that bad after the first few days, in my opinion. She's putting her life in jeopardy by refusing to move. Uh. Why is she making all those noises? Pauline refused to take responsibility for herself. This is really disappointing. Oh she my god, can they give your stomach back? Is he... Holy shit. He's gonna make her fatter again. Can he do that? No. Doctor's oath. Do no harm. Hippocratic oath. What's gonna happen here? He only has gotten up to walk once. 
So she's prone to develop blood clot, which can migrate to the lung, and that can be a fatal condition. So I have to put the air filter in the leg to prevent this. Oh my God, I thought he was gonna give her stomach back. Okay, filter in the leg. So they're turning your leg into a coffee filter. That doesn't sound very pleasant either. I mean, now we're going to put that filter in, okay? Okay. All right. Slow, deep breath. We have to be very careful because this is a high-risk surgery. This is more high-risk? Blood clot filter is a device we put in the vein that prevent migration of blood clots into the lung. Let me have a clear syringe. Get the guide wire ready. We've got access to the vein. That's crazy. Just because she wouldn't walk? I mean, I had, uh, what, upper endoscopy, lower endoscopy. I was under for the... No, they just do an upper. They don't do a lower. Nobody went in my prison suitcase. But I also had a heart catheter. Like, you can still see this weird little lump on my wrist from where they went in. And they, like, looked at my heart. I don't know why, but they did that to make sure I was good to go, too. But... All right, let's get the filter. First, we take a picture to choose the right size of the filter. Hold it right there. Okay. Then we're going to deploy the filter in the vena cava, which is the main vein that takes the blood into the heart. Oh, I know I can't show that. Maybe a little bit too low, huh? One more time. That filter will catch the blood clot and prevent a condition we call pulmonary embolism that can be a fatal situation. That's so crazy she's putting herself through all of that just so she don't have to walk. Like, all you had to do was take a few steps, Richard Simmons sweating to the oldie style, and she refused. Damn. She's hard-headed. Right, hold it right there. And right, we're good. It's a little bit challenging to put the filter in the right place with this size of patient, but everything went very well. So far, Pauline is a very self-destructive person, and she doesn't seem to want to change that. I mean, find me somebody who's over 600 pounds that's not self-destructive, and I'll find you a friggin' unicorn. We'll trade. Ultimately, you cannot make the choice for her. No matter how much we help, turning around her life is up to her. Hey, she turned into a tamale. She should be 150 down at least. Good morning. Good morning. Nope. How are you today? Okay, how are you? All right, you ready to go home today? I guess so. I need to see what you wait before you go home. I will. She's been in there all that friggin' time. Oh my God, she just didn't want to pay rent. She's got a nice comfy hospital bed and people bring her everything, wait on her hand and foot. She got the life hack. No, I guess she had surgery and all, but that's crazy she spent that much time in there. Oh, not right now, not this minute. Why not? Because I'm, I'm not dressed. This is not fashion shit, okay? Do no, no, doctor, no. You're not hearing you. me. I'm not doing it right now. And we can get you I'm not doing it right now. And get you out. No, I'm not doing it right now. This is not a picking and choosing thing. Pauline has been in the hospital for a couple of months, but she still is a very difficult patient. That's the biggest 50-year-old baby I've ever friggin' seen. And doctor now should just get the hell up out of here. Like, get her, roll her out. Sit her outside in the bed and say, you're on your own. I don't think you're allowed to do that, but I think you should. And her attitude is the biggest problem right now. Are you ready? No. Ouch. Don't drink, don't drink. Hurt my toe. Ouch. Owie, owie. Oh. Oh. oh, shit. She did lose a fair bit of weight. She should be walking so much better now. Because even 50 pounds off, you just feel so much better. But... 
<laughs> All right. So um, you, you're gonna follow your diet, and if you follow your diet, you're gonna be able to lose 10, 15 pounds a week, okay? Yeah. We have been able to make a lot of progress with following weight loss. So I'm gonna discharge her now. We have helped her as long as we can here. I'm really concerned that she's going to end up undoing her surgery. Push it up. Bro, she did not just pull herself up by that car door. I don't know how that sucker didn't break off. But also, what is... Just lift your foot, lady. You've lost almost 150 pounds. If you would have been walking, this wouldn't be so damn hard. If she stays this way, then she's not going to lose any more weight. Oh, that lady's happy to see her She's go. going to have to learn to do things on her own. Car's still leaning a little. Wait, how long did it say in the bed? We are going to the warm water rehabilitation pool. Well, I can tell you right now she ain't on that damn diet because I see napkins all up in there. So she's definitely been in some drive throughs Where I can do some water walking and increase the strength in my legs. I think I'm going at a good pace. I'm making the progress I want. Sean prescribes tender cardio and an old man with a little blue pill. It'll get your ass moving like crazy. And the doctor can't tell me what's good for me because <sighs> I know my body. The pool is much safer than the physical therapist pushing me to do more than I should. If I fall, it would be a dangerous situation, and they don't get that. Swimming is one of the best exercises. You use every muscle when you're swimming. So this I love swimming. It feels so good just to get in the water and move around. Like, I want to get a, like, gym membership with a pool just so I could swim mainly. Obviously, I'll use the gym, but I really just want a pool, man. It will help me make good progress. Somebody invite me to their pool. They want me to move past the pain I think the pool is a good solution, so I can do things the way they need to be done. Miss Potter. This is my first checkup after leaving the hospital. So I'm anxious to know how much I've lost. I know I will have a loss of some type. I just. Bro, I'm gonna guess she's down 230. No, maybe. She didn't want to go that fast. Maybe 180. She looks significantly better, though. So I'm happy for her, but she should have been pretty far ahead. It looks like Dylan picked up the pounds, though, buddy. Come on. Don't know how much. Oh, gosh. Really? <sighs> That's pretty awesome. Oh gosh. How is that awesome? Six pounds? I can lose that with an X lax. Okay. I'm feeling good about seeing Dr. Nels Arden. I'm anxious to see if he'll be happy. Hi. How y'all doing? Good, how are you? All right. How is your diet coming along? Good. I haven't and been in the low fives in a long time. Pauline, 10 pound loss mean that you're still eating what you want. I've done good. You could see by the scale. You told me you only believe the scale. That's because you... You lost six pounds. Who told you that was good? There's people like a third of your size that can drop six pounds in that time. That's nuts. This chick's in crazy denial. Had weight loss surgery. I know, that but I'm eating that good, you're too. Eating healthy. You should have lost at least 60 to 80 pounds. Pauline is plain dumb. This lack of progress means that she's still overeating and doing nothing. I don't no know if she's carb playing. is no carb. Okay, I'll okay. do no carbs. You need to get rid of bread, rice, and pasta. How is your walking? I walk back and forth in my living room. I do that several times. You don't go outside. You go on a prison walk? Why not go outside? See some friggin' scenery. When's the last time you saw a bird in the wild? Except, like, not out your window. 
But the fact that she just won't exercise and won't cut the carbs, keto is a great way to drop weight fast if you want to go that route. I'm just counting calories right now, but keto was probably the most successful I ever been. Do want? Not yet. I, I don't feel comfortable enough. I feel like I'm going to fall down if I go too far. We need to get Pauline up and moving around more. She skipped her physical therapy appointment, so I'm going to send them to her apartment to make sure she's active. Ooh. First step in being independent is walking. So I want you to increase your walking distance and walk with Walker at least three times a day. Okay. You think they could do like Oreo ups instead of like squats? You drop an Oreo, you bend down and pick it up. But them suckers are designed to roll away from fat people. Maybe Nutter Butter ups. That could work. All right. If next time she come in, she has not made any progress, then there is no reason to continue this process with Pauline. I'm feeling good about my progress, and it's disappointing that he does not. Thank you. Sure. I don't know what he expects from me. This dude's haircut's giving me major Ron Jeremy vibes, and I don't know why. I'm working hard and doing what I should, and I don't feel like he's being very fair right now. Hey, we're in the front seat now, boys. And girls. Mainly girls watching this. 83% female. That's like nothing else, right? Maybe three? Hey, Dill, honey, could you bring me my lunch, please? Oh, shit. Because it's been so long since I ate, I'm feeling a little bit nauseous. It's been a hard month. I'm still trying to balance the cravings. No, eating... you did not get a friggin' quesadilla. I'm feeling nauseous. Need some of that good old Taco Bell to clear me out. What are you thinking, lady? Oh, I forgot. She was the tamale terrorizer. And now she's the quesadilla queen. Some things I'm not supposed to, but I've drastically cut down on the amount. You know, Dr. Nazarden really discourages eating carbs. But <laughs> I'm really not worried about... No carbs, so I got rice and a quesadilla. You're killing it, lady. Maybe yourself, but... How much carbs is in the rice... It's not gonna hurt. Look at me. the poppers. The key is to eat smaller portions. I haven't moved around very much because of the pain still being there, but I'm definitely finding my own pace. Superhero dog. I'm done. Can you take this? Okay. She didn't actually eat that much, or is that just because the cameras are there and she knows? I know I have another doctor's visit coming up next month. No matter the negativity, a smaller number is progress. But I don't know if the doctors will agree with that. Yeah, she should be like 350-ish or something now, probably. Maybe a little below 4. I'm a little nervous about seeing the doctor today. And I'm hoping I made enough progress for him this time. Welcome to the BBW car dealership. Bring her on into the showroom floor, ladies and gentlemen. I feel pretty good. I feel like I'm sure I'll have a weight loss. I don't know if it's going to fit or not. We'll see. And that's what she said. Well, why can't so, you get up from there? Because my wheelchair is... Leave this monster in the way. <laughs> hey, what's the matter? The way that you're sitting here after surgery and you want to go roll with this thing instead of walking? The only reason I have this chair is because I can't walk that far without getting dizzy. Pauline is fully capable of walking, but she just doesn't want to do it. For her legs look a lot better. If she would have been like trying this whole time, she could be so much better off. That's what's like upsetting about this. <sighs> that's not bad, I guess. Well, that's what oh. you say, and that's, that's not what I say. What do you say? Do you realize the only weight you have lost is being when we put you in hospital? As you said, I've lost 30 pounds since last time I saw you. You're not losing any meaningful weight, but this is not working for you. This is bull. <laughs> Better watch out, that lady's about to run your feet over, nursing lady. That's 500 pounds of hurt. Ooh, get her. 
I love the fat. Tell me about you eating cabbage. What do you eat for a typical day? I Talk have about. to eat like every th three hours or I get nauseous. So I want to get away from just <sighs> eating three hours. Okay, I'm gonna explain you something to you. I could eat every two to three hours if I just listened to my stomach when it started to feel hungry. If you push past that initial hunger, six, eight, whatever is easier, you have a smaller stomach, but you just got to push past that initial hunger. She's not doing that at all. There's no effort at all on her part. Okay, you only eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Right, but I'm just eating something little like a little cup of yogurt. That's binge eating. That's going to escalate. You have a surgery to, to change your eating habit and you're not going to do what we tell you. You're going to be exactly where you started. I'm not eating enough to gain weight, Dr. Well, that, Nazar. That's your perception. But uh, You're remaining totally still, which is equally as bad after you've had the surgery. It means the second your stomach's back to normal, you have no shot at success at all. You know, the scale doesn't agree with perception. How is your physical therapy coming along? They haven't called me yet. Well, I got the message they called and you are not ready for them. They never called. Let me check on the physical therapy you set up. This is nuts. Um, I was calling about Pauline Potter. She said that um, nobody called her. We did, sir. We called her three times, and she said she didn't need us, and she had someone else helping her. She turned us away. We're calling about your wheelchair's extended warranty. <laughs> Each time we called. Okay. I want to call her back again and set it up this time. Make sure that she's not going to refuse it, okay? Yeah, Pauline is lying to me. She wanted a magic pill to solve her problem without her doing any work. Pauline, I got the message from physical therapy. They said that they called you and you told them you have somebody else coming in that you don't need him. That was them? I thought it was no. about some No shot, this woman. What is wrong with her? This is like worse than denial I've seen from other people like Penny and all of them. This might be the most like deluded woman I've seen yet. Someone needs to smack her with a quesadilla. Else. No, they, they specifically told you that they were going to do this physical therapy. They did not say the words physical therapy because after like you it. told me that, I've been waiting for their call. You always have a certain excuses. Because but it's none true, of them it's make not an sense. excuse. I'm not trying to skip the program or, you know, not listen to your rules. I'm not. You have to take accountability for what you did to yourself and what you're going to do moving forward. Like, you can't change the past, you can't sit there and dwell on it, you can change your future. And right now you are throwing away a golden opportunity and it's sad for me to watch, because I took the opportunity and I'm working on it every friggin' day. And I can tell you, I am not eating every three hours and it is not Taco Bell. Well, I don't know how else we're gonna be able to help you. There's not much I can do for you unless you start taking responsibility for your situation. So let's try to eat efficiently three times a day, high protein, and get on with your physical therapy and see if we can make some headway. Okay. Pauline wants to manipulate everybody around her to think that she's right. She has no in She's a food addict who can barely walk. She has learned that manipulation gets her the furthest in life, so she hasn't changed up her tactics whatsoever. It's the same old problem in a little bit smaller body. But she, she just needs to focus on herself and want better for herself. She could absolutely do it. I want to see her win. But she don't want to see her win. Intention to change right now. I don't like how he responded, and I don't think it was fair. It made me shut down, and it made me not to ever want to talk to him again. I think he's too hard on me. Not hard enough. So, same. That would be that nasty word called exercise if she went to PT. She ain't going to fall for that. You almost got her in the hospital with that. At this time, there is not much more I can do for Pauline. 
She's not walking when she should be. Pauline goes out, but she stays in motorized wheelchair. That's not being active. Bro, what if somebody stole the wheelchair? Then she'd have to walk. I am not telling anybody to do a crime, but if you happen to be in the area and see this wheelchair unoccupied and it happens to disappear, I ain't gonna fault you for it. I don't agree with all the doctor says because I'm doing more and I am going out and doing things. Bingo? Pauline says she's eating healthy, but she's not. She's eating- well, I've never played bingo, but I don't think you're supposed to sit there and eat a Hot Pocket while you're on a diet either. I don't think that's how that's supposed to work, but. Whatever she likes. And at a bingo telling hall. herself she's doing better. She's pushed her body to the limit so long that oh, I'm concerned she may not be able to live in a year like this. How, how is she eating like that? Because I couldn't touch bread. It was just too filling for the longest time. You want every patient to be a success, but that's not reality. I still have to do a lot for my mom, but we're both hoping that we can both be more independent and she won't have to rely on me so much. Hopefully Dylan won't end up burying his mother soon. I'm so sorry, Ron Jeremy. Your mom doesn't want to help herself, so she can't help you. I think she enjoys the power dynamic where you have to care for her, honestly. I feel like I'm making the progress I want, and I do have to take it at my own pace. I know that I will get there that way. All right, so, I mean, she could get somewhere, but right now it's gonna be in a motorized scooter. She's her own worst enemy, and I hate to see that because it's a golden opportunity just kind of thrown away. Yes, she lost the 149 pounds. That's great, 149 pounds is a lot. It's not to somebody who's 700 pounds. She could have lost, I mean, I lost, what, 82 in the first three months and I was still doing bad at that point. Like I was drinking sugar still at that point. So she absolutely could like turn this around but she's gonna have to change her ways right this second. And there ain't no time to waste cause she's already up there 16 years past me. So she ain't got a lot of time left, but especially at that size, but hopefully she figured it out. I don't know. I think this is the only episode on her. I don't think there's a part two, but all right guys, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you later. Peace.